Well, I'm about to go scout some uh, public land, find uh, where some gobblers are hanging out at. But before I do that, I wanted to give you all a little update. Uh, I've, if you have been following along the Instagram or the Facebook page, I've restructured everything and I've got it about like I want it. Um, I've kind of gutted everything and reposted the hunts uh, and little teasers, but all the traffic is going to be on the YouTube channel. That's where that's where I'm directing everyone to see all the, the full content. Uh, so if y'all go to YouTube and subscribe, very much appreciated, and ring that bell to receive notifications when new hunts uh, are posted. That's you know the only way you're going to be able to watch the real-time live stuff once we get into the spring, which brings up another subject. Um, I'm going to commit to like two Mondays and Thursdays to post a video for y'all throughout the spring. Uh, I am a one person deal. So that means I shoot the film, upload the film, edit the film, all that stuff myself. Uh, so bear with me. You may get, I mean, I'm saying Mondays and Thursdays, but if I can get the footage out the same day, then I'm going to try to do that for y'all. But that's the only really thing I had to just give y'all an update on. I'm going through the end of last spring right now. I have a few Georgia hunts that are throwbacks. Uh, I had a file SD card that was corrupted. I was able to recover that, so we'll probably show that. But we're going through the end of last year, and probably by the 7th of March, we'll be into brand new content. We've got some great scouting videos lined up, how to scout, how to find turkeys on public land we've got georgia youth season coming in coming in soon the weekend after that i believe so it's it's gonna be a really good time i'm really excited about it excited to share it with y'all and i really appreciate y'all watching and subscribing please down in the comments drop me some suggestions things that i can change things that that you would like to see uh, out of the videos to make it better um, i am no professional by any stretch of the imagination uh, but I, I really have a passion for turkey hunting and filming and documenting hunts, and I just really am blessed to be able to do it as much as I am. So that's all I got for today. And now let's go back to Idaho on public land last year, and let's see if I can find a gobbler. Alright guys, we persevered, made it through Montana, got skunked in Oregon, Montana we doubled, and uh, I was glad to get that done and behind us, if you look right here, just beautiful country in Montana, some of the prettiest country I've ever hunted in my life, the prettiest, it takes the cake by far, by a long shot. Um, we're packed up, everything's ready to go. We're about to head to Idaho and we'll be hunting Idaho. So um, we're gonna head that way. Should get there about 9.30 tonight. We'll be hunting tomorrow. So we'll keep you all up to date on, on how that goes. <laughs> Idaho in the middle of nowhere and you got the basically the post office um, restaurant saloon bar and grocery store all in one there and the hotel so not much out here and we are in the middle the definition of the middle of nowhere so that's where we were staying. What's up, Carson? That's where we were staying. 
last night. So we're gonna pack up everything. Everything packed up right there. And uh, we're about to head out here and try to find a turkey. So apparently there's like mountain lions, grizzly bears, black bears, uh, moose, elk, and then wolves, and I hear all Well, having the struggle just kind of continues. Seems like every time I get to a state, uh, shotgun, it's no problem. We're rolling. I'm shooting a turkey, hit, I mean, could have hit Montana, bam, Idaho, bam, next state, bam, bam, bam. But when you're bow hunting, it's just like, uh, you know, there again, they, those turkeys, they came down that road right there came to about 40 yards decided didn't like something went left went behind me came out behind me 40 yards no shot opportunity nothing i got up tried to bushwhack them it's just i don't know just frustrating that's bow hunting turkeys i mean it's so hard to do i don't know i, I don't know
starting to get frustrated, for real. That's the second turkey. That's another gobbler I caught in. Didn't want anything to do with the decoy. So I'm going to try to set up on him again, I guess, with just a hen. It's gobbling.
got him. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about Idaho, the state of Idaho. Uh, it hasn't disappointed, that's for sure. Got on a lot of birds on public land here, and um, and if you can see what I'm doing right now, swatting, there's like a million mosquitoes and gnats out here. I mean, it's a different, it's so much more different than um, other states I've hunted in its own unique uh, framework. But at any rate, I think the key pivotal point of this hunt right here was just staying patient, Things aren't going right, you know. Uh, don't have the right decoys. Turkey flaring off the decoy. Just can't. Nothing seems to work. Just staying patient and, and sticking to what what's worked in the past. So, so I think we'll be heading to Washington next. And um, we appreciate y'all watching the videos. God bless.